everybody, my name is Num Huts, and today I'm recording to you in a panda onesie and I'm drinking a coffee and I'm gonna tell you how to find your art style. Ha <laughs> ha I got distracted. So if you're an artist and you're anything like I was when I was younger, you've probably been desperately trying to Google how to find your art style. You've been looking at artists seeing their art styles and trying to recreate them, or watching YouTube video after YouTube video on how to finally be able to draw the way you want. And I'm here to help you out. So, the title of this section might be confusing for you, but I'm going to explain. Art styles as a general thing are real, but art styles when it applies to you and yourself kinda isn't. Believe it or not, you already have an art style. Let me show you some of my old art back when I thought I didn't have an art style. It's a little rough around the edges compared to what I can do nowadays, but back then I didn't think I had an art style, which clearly isn't true. These are all relatively similar as far as styles go. To everyone except myself, that was clear. But because I was so focused on trying to find who I was in the art scene and how to properly go about doing art the right way, I ended up losing a lot of progress and time that I could have spent learning how to hone my art skills. All an art style is, is how you draw, what your process is, and how you approach the steps within your process. Which is another thing. A lot of artists on the internet harp on the idea that art styles have to be consistent, which isn't true at all. Art is a media that is constantly and frequently evolving, both as an overarching thing and as a personal thing. It's less of a question of how to find your art style, but how to be comfortable within the art style you already have. One of the biggest things to help develop an art style is not remaining static or complacent. You might not realize it, but something you do subconsciously is take pieces you like from artists and apply it to your art style. Nearly every single artist does this, though because they've combined a bunch of things they like from various artists, you can't pick out the individual pieces that goes into each piece of their art style. It blends together to create something unique. Think of art as baking a cake. You have all the ingredients, eggs, flour, sugar, and it's combined into making a cake. So taking the way an artist does their eyes is not art theft. That would be like using the same brand of eggs another baker uses to make your cake. You did not steal their cake. Developing your skills is really crucial to getting to a point where you like your art. For example, I really struggled with the human body, sometimes I still do, but in order to combat that, I studied anatomy. I took anatomy courses in my college. I practiced just drawing bodies, which leads me to my next point. Hey you, the one that hides the hands behind your character. Yeah, that's right, I see you. You wanna know how to improve your art? Draw hands. And you, the person that doesn't ever draw side profiles. Draw side profiles, you silly goose. You can't ever expect to grow in your art journey if you don't ever tackle the pieces of your art that are weaker than the rest. A fun side tip, doing this can also combat art block. One of the biggest contributors to art block that is rarely talked about is the fact that if you draw the same thing enough times without challenging yourself, you lose inspiration. Push yourself, just like developing any skill. If you're learning a new language, you have to keep pushing yourself to learn new words in order to expand your vocabulary and become more supposed to speaking it, unlike me with English. Listen man, I know it's scary, and you're worried about it not looking good, but that's kind of the point. You can't really improve if you don't try it. Plus, think of how happy you'll be when you finally crack the case and learn how to draw hands, or side profiles. Think of all the things that we'll be able to expand just for taking the time to attack the weak points of your art. From just learning how to draw hands, you unlock the ability to pose your character in more natural and easier ways. You unlock the ability to have your character hold objects like wands, stabs, or knives. From learning how to draw side profiles, you can make a more concise character reference sheet. You can learn better how to emote with your art, and from that leaping point, you'll be able to pose the head in many different ways, which also leads to more dynamic poses. I didn't have a transition for that one. Anyway. No Huts, what? References? Practice? I feel cheated out of my money, everybody says that. Shh, it's okay. I'm gonna tell you how to use references and how to practice. Because most of the tutorials I've seen throw that on the table and then walk away expecting you to know how to use those tools already because they've been doing it for so long, which is not helpful. Let's tackle references first. 
Most people, when they think of references, my, somebody's texting me. <laughs> I have recorded this line like six times. <laughs> Let's tackle references first. Most people, when they think of references, think of anatomy references, but I'm not talking about that. For me and my art style personally, anatomy references are really helpful, but for someone whose art style is more cartoony or don't particularly follow the law of the land for anatomy, it's not helpful. God damn, that line's really hard. What the fuck? I had way too much coffee before recording this. So when I talk about references, I mean pose references like these. Or art style references from an artist you like. It's okay to pull up pictures of art styles or artists you like, especially if you want to study how they do things. Like how they shade, how they do hair, how they do clothing wrinkles, etc. These things can greatly improve your technique, which in reality is all an art style really is. It's your technique. It's how you approach each piece of art. In fact, if you really wanted to get into an art style, you could- TRACE! What? I'm telling you to trace? I'm scandalous! I'm cancelable! Anyway, tracing is an important part of an art journey. I don't know a single person who didn't trace as a child. Tracing has always been a part of art, and it's a wonderful way to learn how to do certain things. Can't figure out how hands work? Trace a picture of a hand, break it down into shapes. That's how I learned how to draw hands. Another thing I used as a tool is I painted over an image to learn how to paint shadows on a person's face. This can help understand colors and how they correspond, as well as how to help you figure out how to shade. Though, now that I've said this, it's important for me to state. Please ask the artist before tracing over their art and let them know it's for educational purposes and for style development. And never, ever post your traced artwork. And when you trace in order to actually get something out of it, break it down into shapes. Try to figure out how the artist broke the body down into pieces in order to construct what they've drawn, like hands, faces, bodies, legs, hair, eyeballs, fingies. Art styles aren't important, as long as you're having fun doing what you do. Then that's all that matters, and I think a lot of beginning artists forget that art is supposed to be fun. That's why people draw in the first place. You also don't need to post everything you draw. It's okay to draw a piece for yourself every once in a while. Let yourself draw and practice without worrying what people are going to think of it. You have an art style already, and it's not a matter of finding it, but refining it and being comfortable with it. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and hopefully it helped you at least a little bit. Please consider following me on my social medias, but specifically Twitch, because special announcement, something pretty neat's gonna be happening on there very soon. Alright everyone, remember to drink your meds and take your water, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! All an art style is, is how you draw, what your process is, and how you approach the steps in your process. Which is another thing. Oh yeah, she's another thing.